So. So that's pretty good because then people can just visit your website and then from there they can travel anywhere they want to travel in terms of they can go to your Twitter account and follow you on Twitter, yes. Facebook and like your page. Yes, sir. Right? No, man, that's pretty nice. <laughs> all, in I, one, all in one shopping stop. So you get shows and all kinds of fun pictures and things like that from the website. So. Oh, cool. <laughs> and, and the website again is www.camillesanders.com. CamilleSanders.com. That's C A M I L L E Sanders, S A N D E R S. Yes, sir. You got it. Cool. All right. Well, let's play that song then, Horizon, which is the title track to the, your EP, also called Horizon. What do you say? You ready? That sounds good. All right. Let's make it happen. Here then, once again, Camille Sanders with Horizon. <laughs> And so much joy unexpectedly Now as the sun comes up on the horizon I count my blessings for all I've seen Be my tomorrow's protect and guide me to what's ahead And in between So that where I end up Is where I'm supposed to be Camille, what a beautiful, beautiful song. Uh, Thank you. You know what? <clears throat> that song is, I mean, you're telling a story. You're really a good storyteller. Oh, well, thank you. We, we appreciate it. Yeah, that's when I was listening to it and I was listening to the lyrics, you know, you're sharing a story, you're telling a story, and uh, and I'm going like, wow, this is pretty cool, you know? Well, thank you. We, we, uh, we like to keep things on the positive side so um, yeah because because i'm not very positive if you if you can't tell but um we i don't know it's just it's nice to have a positive happy storytelling message out there 
Um, so that that was our goal with the two singles was to just keep it light, keep it fun, and and hopefully it can connect with people. You know what that's Horizon hopefully can do. It, it connected to me, so I was hoping it would connect to other fans too. Yeah, yeah, and, and well, I mean, to me, a good artist is one who can tell a good story, and the people can feel what's going on in that story. If you can communicate the emotion of the song uh, and in a good storytelling way, to me, that's the difference between a real professional and an amateur. And you are a real professional. Oh, thank you so much. This is, you're so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> uh, well, it's, it's so crazy because, you know, you said that and it's so true. Because people can forget what you said, but they will never forget how you make them feel. So hopefully, yeah. you know, if it ignites a spark of some kind of, you know, feeling or emotion or memory, that's what they'll remember with that song. You know, it's very interesting that you said that because there's a saying that I heard, I don't know when, some time ago, but I've always remembered it. And it goes like this. It says, I may forget your name and I may even forget what you look like but I will never forget the way you made me feel. Mm -hmm. you know? How true is that? Oh, man. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, people listen to your music and they like your music and they like the way they feel when they're listening to your music. That they will never forget. Well, that I I sure hope so. I, I sure hope they feel happy and, and like they're gonna in for a good time when they listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> so let me ask you another question. I understand you're really multi-talented. Because oh. you play a lot of instruments. Well, um, I'm a homeschooler, so we have lots of time on our hands when we're younger. Um, well, it's kind of interesting how each instrument came about. When I was younger, people would be like, hey, I found this random mandolin. Would you like to have it and play it? And I'd be like, sure. And then someone else would be like, oh, hey, I found this, you know, mountain dulcimer in my garage would you like to have it and play it so it was like well sure so that it kind of came about that way um not the fiddle the fiddle was was a choice and so was the piano well I, and i guess so was how many instruments do you play well i would only consider six of them ready to play <laughs> okay in um, <laughs> let me see the fiddle yes the, the piano mm -hmm. the cello yes the mandolin? Yes, sir. The guitar? <laughs> yes. And the ukulele? <laughs> <laughs> yes, wow. I, I do count the ukulele as one whole instrument, even though it looked like it's half of one. So Now, on your songs, do you have any of your own music in the, in the instrumentals injected or be part of your music, part of your song? You mean things that I've written? No, things that you have played. For example, when I'm listening to a fiddle, is that you playing that fiddle? Well, not on, not on the latest ones. Um, those, I, well, when you're in Joe Spivey's presence, you, <laughs> I, I didn't, want, I didn't want to play the fiddle over him. So I was like, you take it away, Joe. And <laughs> so that, that is definitely Joe on the fiddle, but I do everything live and, um, and, and I do things on YouTube or, or my Facebook page, and so I'll be the one playing. Okay. So that's that's all me when you see the videos and stuff. So, so this basically latest recording when, isn't. Go, I'm sorry? Well, the latest recording isn't my fiddle, but um, I thought I thought it was a pretty good trade out. <laughs> well, no, of course. You're not going to, yeah, you know, you're pretty good, but uh, hey, if you've got a legend there. Oh, yeah, you usually. Uh, you know. <laughs> But when, when so that's wonderful. When you do your recordings, they're all professionally made recordings with you know professional musicians and so on. Yes, sir. Well, well, you know, we want to make something that, you know, how you'll do something when you're younger and you go, oh man, which what was I thinking when I did that? You know, I just I wanted to make things I would never look back on and do that with that I would always be proud of, and that would always have a special place in my heart. So even from my first recording, when I sound like a baby, and when I was 15 doing that one, I'm still really proud of that album because we worked so hard on it and put a lot of thought and right. effort into 
just the little details that would make a CD come alive and, and bring the songs alive to people. So, um, I don't know. That, that's, a, that's a big deal to me. So Yeah. Now, when you are in, uh, when you're doing a show, a live show, mm -hmm. then, uh, of course, you're going to have your own band and everything. But there are some times that you play a certain instrument while you're singing on live shows, correct? Oh, yes. Um, there's there's only really one song I don't play an instrument on. Um, and it's actually one we rap on. Um, <laughs> we we mixed in a rap song in there somewhere just to, to throw people off for like, we're at a country dance and you're starting to rap? Girl, what are you doing? <laughs> Sit down. But... <laughs> Um, no, it, it, it's funny. Uh, I, got, I even talked my band into like turning their hats sideways and getting all hip hop for just one song and then we go back to country. So on that one song, I don't play much. Nobody actually plays much. It's just the drummer and the bass player and me most of the time. So Yeah. How big is your band? <laughs> well, I guess it depends on which band we're talking about because I have one that's here that um, I grew up around from my hometown, and they're wonderful people. Um, I mean, from the time I was 12 and learning to play the guitar, my guitar player, Mark Buchanan, would come over and help me change my strings. And heck, he still does. Wow. <laughs> he still does come over and help me change my strings. But um, then I also have another band that we do different, more like further out of town gigs or um, more specialty kind of gigs um like you know the white gloves and pearls kind of singing cabaret music and things like that um and that's actually with ronnie huckabee who is uh -huh. a member of the ace in the hole band that tours with george Strait, and then several other members of his band like joe manuel who's on the guitar and so it's a it's a wonderful wonderful two groups that I've been blessed to play with. Um, right. A lot of them are actually also in the Texas Jam Band, which is pretty much Ace in the Hole without George. So um, they just kind of tour around, and, and they're wonderful men. And I'm I'm so excited because they're so different. We yeah. do both do such different types of music. Which is fun because you never want to get stuck in one rut or one genre right, rut. Right. So it really helps to mix it up. And like we can go from doing Carpenters with one band to the rap song with the other. So it's fun to be able to have, uh, to be versatile. Yeah, right. Sorry, I talk a lot. So. No, 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 you're doing, I mean, this is magnificent. I, I really, I'm having a good time. <laughs> Thank you. Me too. Uh, what what uh, what plans do you have here? Uh, because this year is almost over, and I can tell that this year has been a very exciting year for you uh, with your music and everything. Oh yes. Well, um, the next steps are are very interesting. A lot of them are still kind of in the works, okay. but the 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 songs are starting to really take on a life of their own in Europe, and so that's where we're we're starting to get calls and and starting to focus our you know energy on and and so that's actually one of my biggest dreams so i would love to do that and so i'm really happy to say that that is in the works and another single is also on the horizon oh good <laughs> and then we have also um in february going to carnegie hall with my um with a 200 piece choir and um it's going to be full of orchestra and celebrating the music of joseph martin and so i'm really excited to be part of something wow. so opposite of what i normally do um so so those kinds of things and, and i'm so excited to say that it isn't really slowing down any it just right. keeps going it keeps chucking so so it sounds like uh 2015 has been a very good and exciting year for you in 2016 even is going to be an even better year, more exciting. Well, I certainly hope so. I pray so. so. <laughs> well, make sure that you stay in touch with us and let us know what's going on. Oh, I sure will. Camille, uh, I know that you're very busy and there's a lot of things you need to uh, to go and do. So I just want to thank you so much for taking the oppor uh, opportunity to speak with us. 
Oh, thank you so much for having me. I just adore you and your show, and you're just so, so sweet. So thank you very much. This has been wonderful.